Yo, mic check, mic check. What the fuck is up, YouTube? How y'all niggas just doing? Y'all good? Y'all chilling? All right. So this is going to be about R. Kelly, right? I got a question. How many of you dick riding as black fathers who's on Charlemagne and God dick when his allegations popped up? How many of y'all still going to fanboy for R. Kelly after this documentary? Real niggas like me and real niggas across the globe, we already knew R. Kelly was a pedophile for years. I've constantly said that on my videos on this channel. Anybody who disagree can suck my dick straight like that. You heard? This nigga is a fucking pedophile. If you an uncle with nieces, my nigga, you got female cousins, sisters, mothers. This nigga is a whole fuckboy. Now, me personally, I didn't see the documentary, right? But I see it's a lot of hype behind it. Only reason why I'm speaking about it is I'm kind of disappointed in, in a, a lot of these celebrities. Not to say that I expect it any better. Because this is the whole age of clout. Niggas don't give a fuck if you beat women. You sexually harass women. You play with kids. They'll still be buddy buddy with you on a cram. Still on your dick like a fucking groupie. Unless some backlash is against your name. That's when niggas choose when to choose to distance from you. Uh, create distance from you. You feel me? Like Chance the Rapper, from ins uh, for instance. After this documentary aired, this nigga wanted to go on, a, on Twitter, apologize to black women because he made a song with R. Kelly a couple years ago. And he said, wow, I should have listened to black women. I didn't know R. Kelly was doing a, No, no. Matter of fact, he actually acknowledged the allegations against R. Kelly. He said he didn't believe it because it was black women, so he apologized. Chance to rap, I'll fuck with you heavy because of all the shit that you, uh, you doing for Chicago. But that was some hoe-ass shit to say, my nigga. You feel me? It, it, and it just goes to show you, like, a lot of people will sell their souls, bro, for fame and money, bro. You feel me? Like, what the fuck, bro? If I know a nigga got something against... I don't even like speaking on this topic, bro. I don't... I really don't fuck with this whole internet age. Because I bet you a month from now, niggas is going to go right back to not giving a fuck about R. Kelly. And this is crazy because the Boondocks predicted this. I don't know if y'all remember that episode where Huey, he was in a courtroom after the court case. R. Kelly was on the fucking table singing and shit. And niggas started cheering like they ain't give a fuck after the whole case. The nigga got caught pissing on a fucking little girl. I believe, allegedly, there's a sex tape out there with him having sex with an underage girl. Like, it's too many incidences, bro. This nigga's a whole fuck nigga. All y'all black fathers who, who fucking still support this nigga. Y'all fuck nigga. You feel me? I mean, I'm, I'm back on my G shit, you feel me? I'ma just start talking my shit in these videos. It's still fuck R. Kelly. It's been fuck R. Kelly on this channel. I mean, that shit ain't gonna never change. We don't fuck with rapists or pedophiles on this channel. You feel me? And if you was a weirdo ass nigga for some reason, you still trying to defend this nigga R. Kelly. You was a bitch too, nigga, straight like that. But anyways, I'm gonna show y'all celebrity reactions from probably Jada Pickett Smith. I believe Master P spoke on it a little bit. You know I mean, and some other celebrities. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. Like I said, I ain't see the documentary. I'm not sure if I even want to, to be honest. I, I might get around to it. I may not. You feel me? Like, it won't really change my opinion on R. Kelly. Like, I already knew the nigga was a monster. Like, you just giving me more reason to not fuck with the nigga. You feel me? But I see. But, yeah, like I said, subscribe, like, comment. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. I'm off this. You heard, though. So, I got an article this morning about how R. Kelly's music sales and his streams have spiked substantially since the release of surviving R. Kelly docuseries, and I'm having a really difficult time understanding why. But I think it's important that I understand why. I really would like for you guys to help me understand what I'm missing. Even if, it, even if I'm missing something that um, I don't necessarily agree with, I just want to understand what I'm missing. So if you could sound off below, that'd be great. And we can continue the conversation Wednesday at 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific time on our Facebook Live. Um, and I really don't want to believe that it's because black girls don't matter enough. Or is that the reason? So let me know. Happy Sunday. And nobody gonna play with my kids. Straight nobody. up. You know what I'm saying? Like that, right you shouldn't even been on TV in there. If you're a parent, you shouldn't be on there unless you're on CNN from a jail cell. You know what I'm saying? Straight up.
So I don't know if R. Kelly did it or not. That ain't my business. I ain't judging. But I'm just saying those parents shouldn't have let that go that far. And they shouldn't have been knocking on no windows, throwing no rocks, if they know somebody in there with their kid. You know, and now if you got your kid and your kid come out and they won't go back, that's on.